Hi, Centennial family. We have so many exciting things going on in the next couple of weeks. I just wanted to let you know about some of them in case you hadn't been able to access some of the links we've been sending home. This Thursday is our Halloween parade and we are trying to get back to our more traditional parade. Last year we did just the online um, and this year we're gonna try to combine the two. We're gonna do online for those who either aren't comfortable coming into school or can't get away from work or for any other reason. So we'll be filming the parade online, but we'll also be parading outside with all the kids. So it'll be outside in the back playground and we'll have the path clearly marked for parents to come and observe. We're gonna do it no matter the weather because we are determined that we're gonna make this happen. So even if it's chilly, the kids will only be outside for 10 minutes or less. Um, so we'll still keep them good to go. Um, but you are welcome to come and set up along the parade route. Another cool thing that's happening on Tuesday is we have our second grade story pumpkins. So they've decorated pumpkins based on books that they checked out from the library. So come and see our pumpkin display in the outdoor learning area that was put in by our PTA a couple years ago. So that's gonna be an exciting Thursday. We also have another event coming up very soon, which is our first trimester showcase. And I'm gonna start putting signs out today for that outside. And um, you should be getting flyers home um, this Thursday from teachers. Actually, it will be next Thursday or next, next Friday. Sorry about that. Not this week, too much going on this week. Um, so next Friday, you'll get flyers coming home. We sent them by Remind also last week with all of our showcase events that are happening. And those are spaced out throughout the school and all the different hallways. Um, we have several booths and community partners in the cafeteria that will be there, including our free book fair, um, our sidewalk um, art contest for families to participate in. You can come and do one piece of art as a family or each kid can do their own piece of art out front and we'll be judging those and there'll be a prize given to the winner. Um, we're also, we also have several performances. Idaho Rhythm and Dance, where several of our students go um, to classes, is going to be performing, as well as the Nampa High Choir Orchestra um, and um, the Centennial Choir and West Middle School Art Department is coming and having a display. So we have a whole lot of community art coming in. It's gonna be really exciting. Um, and that will be November 10th, 11th, and 12th during the parent-teacher conference times. So when you come in for your parent-teacher conference time, plan a little extra time to walk through and see all of our showcase events, or you can just come and watch the showcase events, even if it's not your conference time. All right, we love you families. We're excited to open our doors, um, both outside for the Halloween parade and outside and inside for our, uh, for our first trimester showcase. And, um, Again, we'll have, we're looking forward to showing you everything that we have going on. Another special thing about the first trimester showcase is that all the kids have created art that will be on display around campus. Some kids have multiple pieces of art, some kids have just one. And you can also vote for our new patriotic logo. So we're trying to rebrand in a way that we can do new t-shirts and actually sell t-shirts instead of just having the New England Patriots logo that we can't sell or, or do anything with. So. Um, after you help us vote for our new logo, um, we will open up a spirit store where you can buy materials with our new logo. So, all right, families, we love you so much. Have a great day, and hopefully we'll see you on Thursday, either online watching the parade or in person, and then in two weeks at our first trimester showcase.